Okay, so everyone has a good one. So, good morning and welcome to the pre match press conference. So, we are taking on Odisha FC in our next away match tomorrow at the Kalinda Stadium. Before that, we have uh, with us our head coach uh, Oscar Cruzo and player Mohammad Rakib to take your questions. This is Coach Oscar's first ISM pre match press conference. So, just introduce yourselves and your houses before asking. So, we'll begin with you. And please put your phones on silent mode. Hello, Oscar. Welcome back to India. Thank you. As a coach of Bashundara Kings, you beat uh, Odisha FC once. So, can you see the same thing again tomorrow? As a coach of Bashundara Kings, we won the home game and we lost the away game. Unfortunately, we have a piece. So, it's a learning. It's a good advantage for us that I get to know a little bit the strength, the strong points of Odisha from last year. I had the chance to study a lot of games. This year is the same. I was watching his evolution from the beginning of the season and there is no much more modifications. Odisha is a team that has a very strong backbone with good foreigners and they use speed on the wings. So it's true that in the last games it seems that the game plan of our opponents is always the successful one. But from now on and on, we are fully confident to try to change our tendency, our last bad run of results. And I hope that from tomorrow we can find the reaction that we really need. Next question. Oh, Sonia, another question. Coach, how different to change the situation? Because why do you think that will change the situation? How difficult or how easy? Uh, it will depend on the attitude of the players. So far, I have only completed two training practices. Yesterday it was a compensation practice only with the players that didn't play with Mohammedan, so I can say that I completed one full practice with the, with the players. I think that the players need to adjust to the ideas of the coach. Of course, the ideas of the former coach and the ideas of the new coach are, I would say, radically different. And I think that the players are slowly understanding what we need. And what we need, I was announcing in the last few days, that we need to understand where to shape, to understand where to find the triggers to activate the full team pressure, to be more intense, to win duels, to win second balls, to go quick, especially for the defending transitions, to have less space in between our lines, and finally to provoke situations that come in the game in our favor. I repeat what I say, it looks like in the game plan they have said poor play on football and they damage us. Uh, Mohamed has started to try to use the win game. Finally, they finished uh, trying to control the game in central areas. Their plan was successful. So I hope that after this again, we start talking that we are the successful team, not only because of the plan of the coach, but because of the players understanding that this is really the way forward. And we need that positive result to keep everybody in full confidence that what we are doing day after day uh, is what we need to do. So it's only about changing the tendency, getting a positive result and grow from there. Hi coach, this is Shota Bhutta here from Pro. Um, you, uh, in your last press conference, you told about uh, the lack of intensity in your team. And uh, from today's training, uh, yesterday's training, we are uh, looking at your team and you are uh, working hard on that to bring back the intensity in, that team, uh, in your team. So how confident you are in, uh, on, of your players who will show the intensity in the pitch tomorrow? I can say I am fully confident that we are going to change that. But of course, in our practice, uh, it's very difficult to, to get the outputs that we need to do through training practice in one practice. Yesterday, the idea, technically speaking, the idea is going for less volume in the practices, not going to very long practices, we avoid thinking in our attacking side, shaping, starting to activate, I repeat, the shape of the team, the distance in between lines, the compactness, understanding when we need to activate the triggers, when we need to activate all of us the pressure, and avoid that the rivals create more number of chances than we create. There is only a few games, if you see the statistics, that East Bengal created more chances than our opponent, and that is becoming not because of the attacking part, I'm sure, but this is coming because uh, in, defense, in defending stage, the stages, including defending transitions, the team is having huge problems. And intensity, aggressivity, they are only words. When we talk about this, as you say, if you are coming to our practices, you are watching now that we are fully focusing on duels, on one-on-one situations, on activations, on making superiorities 
in numbers in defense when the team get that confidence is the moment that we are going to be much more confident in our attacking stages but this will come later right now we are trying to settle the number of goals that we are conceding the number of chances that we are conceding shaping strong being strong helping making more numbers in defense understanding when and where provoke situations and understanding where are the strong points of the rivals and neutralizing them. In the moment we get that as a mantra, in that moment is when our team is going to go. Can we do it tomorrow? Hopefully. With one day of practice it will be fantastic that the team change the idea and the dynamics. But honestly speaking, this is a process and this requires time. But honestly speaking, our club doesn't have time to be on that process. So, because if we are not starting to produce results in the short term, the season is going to start to be shorter and shorter, and we cannot get the main objective that is finishing the SL in the top six. So, for doing now that, it's better we start collecting points. Right now, the distance to the sixth position is six or seven points. It's nothing. It's going to end. So, we have the possibility to try to win two consecutive games is going to be now and the next game, hopefully. And if not, we are going to keep determined to do this work and change it. At some point, I can ensure that our club is going to, is going to produce the desired results. Next question, Devon. Good morning, coach. Hello. Uh, after the journey, one of the uh, your official, Mr. Devo Protoshort, Karni Duda, he said the players, they are mentally devastated. They need mental boost up. So within 72, 72 hours, how much difficult to boost up the team? And side by side, he said the players not mentally fit, like Clayton Silva, Hijaji Mahir, and other foreigners, they are unfit. So, after taking the hot seat of his Bengal, how it's possible to take a team in a success zenith? Well, there is just to clarify, Nituda did not mention any particular players' names. You are touching a lot of points which are right. So, of course, when you play five games of ISL plus the Duran Cup game. When you get six consecutive defeats, I'm right now, six consecutive defeats. When you get seven consecutive defeats, if you are mentally healthy, is that you have a problem. So I cannot allow that the people is enjoying, having a fantastic time in India, all of us we are happy and nothing happened. That is impossible. So if the players are not mentally sick, that means we have a problem. So what we need to convert that sickness into confidence, into determination, into attitude, into willingness, and into hungeriness. In the moment we convert that, we will start being less sick. So right now, yes, I agree with you, I only play one game here, and I'm sick as well. So. Nituda is right in his evaluation about the mental problem of the team. Then you mentioned something about the fitness, which is a different line. So, yes, I can also agree with you. The players can speak because they know better what they were doing before and what we are doing now. Uh, but I can assure you that I feel that in the moment we increase all that short actions, action after action, just to put an example for you to understand. If we need that in 10 minutes a player do 50 actions, attacking, defending, jumping, shooting, crossing, if we need a player that in 10 minutes do 50 actions, right now the players are not ready to do 50, 50 actions in, in 10 minutes. I would say they are ready to do 20 or 25. So this is what happened the other day here against Mohamed Gan. That physical superiority is because of intensity. It's not that they are Superman, or that they are more strong, or that they have more kgs, or that they run more meters. It's that they can do more number of explosive actions 
in a particular time. So this is exactly what we are trying to correct with practices. I repeat, we are not going for volume. We are reducing the numbers of every exercise, we are increasing the intensity, and we are reducing a lot the time of every drill. Because in high intensity, yesterday, in exercise of three or four minutes, some players started to struggle. So I don't want that situation of struggling after three or four minutes. My desired scenario is they should do continuous, intensive and repeated actions in 10 or 15 minutes and then start to be a little bit tired or have lack of oxygen. So if the input that I receive is that in three or four minutes of intensive work we start to be tired, that means what you say, yeah, you can call it unfitness, but readiness, lack of intensity, lack of aggressivity, you can find a lot of uh, ways to mention this. But one thing is talking, and, and what we are watching and the second thing is finding the right solutions and that is what we are doing through our practices and I hope that the players take it well and revert back the situation working exactly in that point, in the mental sickness and in the unfitness. Hi coach, this is Devashis from Red Sports. Obviously the key for Springer now is to get one point on, on the table, in the table. Means obviously you, the team la languishing at the bottom. So how important the Odisha FC match? And also my second part of the question is, is Springer play six matches from now on? Means if you consider the derby, you play six matches. So how difficult will it be for the team now that the morale is down and uh, obviously you don't have much time as you have rightly said, the club is looking forward to bounce back and get some points behind. So how crucial will it be uh, for you uh, as a coach? H how challenging will it be? Okay, I think that we have been identifying and I was very detailed telling about the problems of the team. But right now, please, I don't want to talk about the seven defeats. I don't want to talk about the past. I don't want to talk about the problems. I don't want to talk about the sickness. I don't want to talk about the unfitness. Otherwise, we are going to come completely feedback of negative things. So what we ha I have to say now is that we have four games in the next 11 days, we have Odisha again. What is the importance of Odisha again? It's a final. We need a reaction. Pick fast tomorrow, if possible. We have the AFC Cup. We are representing India in the international competition. Mohan Bagan now don't have the chance to play more in the international level. So we have an additional responsibility. So please, let's start speaking now in positive terms with what is coming for East Bengal. And I repeat, it's a very demanding calendar. 11 days we have four games. I didn't have enough time with the team, but I don't want to be hiding on excuses, blaming some problems. I'm going to try to talk about solutions. So the solution, I was already identifying the problems. Um, I hope that the solutions you can see tomorrow on the pitch, because it's not about a coach talking that we are going to do this. Uh, we will talk about that solutions as part of, of, of solving all the problems that we mentioned, but for tomorrow we have a big opportunity to check the tendency and to come to the AFC Cup with full confidence to, to qualify for the last stage, because the last stage is in March, we will have time enough until March to upgrade the level of the team, so this is our mental situation now. We are fantastic, we are not sick and we are not unfit. We are going forward and the calendar if we start thinking and feeding back about negative things, we are going to keep not solving the problems. Any more questions? Okay. Uh, my last question to uh, Coach. Uh, this is not for tomorrow's game. Uh, as you are talking about the uh, solutions and the positive thing, positive dynamics, uh, every coach uh, needs uh, time to implement his ideas and uh, his choice of players to implement his ideas. You will get uh, some time in November 9 to 29th and that will be a good phase to regroup and uh, uh, build your team. And uh, there we, we are just wondering if you are uh, need, if you need any uh, changes or positive inclusion in terms of players. Uh, have you suggested management of your choice in players in that period or, uh, before winter window uh, to, to build up your squad uh, to uh, rightly uh, implement your formation? I can, I can tell you very easily, I don't want to talk about this. I can tell you very easily, but I also want to give you information. So, 
the information that I, I can tell you is that I need to learn. So as you say, a coach needs time. One thing is my idea, my favorite idea, my favorite model. Second thing is understanding what are the strong points of our players and adjusting and probably to the most effective game plan according to the uh, characteristics of our players. And that is the situation right now. I don't want to hide it. The situation is that I need to learn, I need to watch a lot, I need to review all the practices, I need to review all the games, I need to be very close speaking to our players how they feel strong. So my 100% of mental efforts are on that right now. I cannot speak about reinforcement because that is future. So as I cannot control the future, it's not the moment to talk about reinforcements, players out, players in. It's the moment to learn the team, to understand the characteristics of the players and to try to make effective training and effective games to try to collect points as soon as possible. It's true that if the things doesn't turn around and doesn't work, we are professional. The former coach is not here. Probably if I have a run of games that I can solve the situation, I'm not going to be here also. This is the launch of football. And probably if we are not getting that, many of our players need to be changed. But this is not a scare, this is determination, ambition, and we really want to solve the situation not only for ourselves, but to help the group and to help our club that we know what is this Bengal, the meaning of this Bengal, and we don't accept the situation of the bottom of the table. That's it. Okay, the team has to go to flight positions and after we don't have much time. One last question for Raki Pai. Uh, Raki Pai team is trying to do the match in the training. Uh, we will play in Kalinga Stadium in January. We will play in the Super Cup. We will play in the Super Cup. So, how do you feel that you have positive memories on the ground? How do you feel that you have positive memories on the ground? How do you feel that you have the preparations on the ground? I think it's a crucial match for us and we are staying focused on the process and, and learning from each game and yeah, we are ready to give our best to get three points and hopefully if we get three points uh, we will boost our confidence and heading into the Salience Cup. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Coach.